Hello and thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Open Heavens Reflection based on daily devotional written by Pastor E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Fueke Christian Atolani and it's a joy to be with you today. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic today is Perfect Christian. Bible passage is taken from the book of Job, chapter 1, from 5 to 8. So it was when the days of feasting had run their course that Job would send and sanctify them. And he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus, Job did regularly. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil. Our memory verse, Matthew chapter 5, 48. Therefore, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Our reflections. Let me start by asking you this set of questions. Is it possible to be a perfect Christian? If it is possible, how then can I become a perfect Christian? In our Bible reading for today, specifically in Job chapter 1 verse 8, God made a statement about Job, and the Lord said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that fears God and shuns evil? In effect, God was saying that as far as he was concerned, Job was a perfect and righteous person. How can we be perfect before God? What we need to do is to keep on obeying his direct instructions and command given to us in our memory verse of today, which says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. In other words, our assignment is to keep on striving towards perfection. We need to strive towards perfection every day of our Christian lives and at every step of our Christian walk. As we, as we long, as, as, and as long as we keep striving, we have a better chance of being approved by God as perfect on the day of judgment than if we stop striving. Apostle Paul said in the book of Colossians chapter 1, verse 28 and 29, Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, whereto I also labor, striving, striving according to his working, which works in me mightily. Moreover, it is also said in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. It stated, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. The Spirit of God is the only one that can empower us to walk. So we need to keep pressing and striving towards achieving perfection and the Spirit of God will help us. So why don't you enlist the help of the Holy Spirit from today and ask him to empower you to live this perfection, to live a life of perfection unto the Lord. My prayer is that the Lord will help each and every one of us. He will help you, will help me to live a life that is perfect to the glory of his name. Prayer points. Father, make me as perfect as you want me to be in Jesus' name. And I hope you're praying that with me. Say, Father, make me as perfect 
as you want me to be in Jesus' mighty name. Go forth and live a perfect Christian life. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.